Hello guys, one more week together and today I would like to talk with you about With long life I will satisfy you. So let's start reading Psalms 91 verse 14 to 16. Because he loved me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Hallelujah. You know, you may be wondering, if we as believers have authority over the enemy, why were the Apostle Paul and some of the other apostles martyrs? You know, Paul wrote, for I am already being poured out like a drink offering, and the time for my departure is near. Yeah. Paul said about himself, I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I kept the faith. You know, didn't Paul and the others have the authority to crush the enemies who were after their lives? I believe they did. However, they chose to be martyrs, you know. It was not something that caught them by surprise. Listen to, to how the, the Apostle Paul spoke about his life. He, he, he used to say, For me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Let's be honest. These are, you know, the words of a man who had power of life and death. Paul decided that he had fought a good fight and had finished the race. It was enough. He was satisfied. You see here, you know, a man with authority over them. Paul was not murdered. He was ready to go. With Jesus, it was the same. If you remember about the time Jesus was arrested, Peter tried to defend the Lord and even cut off the ear of one of the guards. But Jesus stopped him and even healed the guy. Jesus said before he was arrested and crucified, Do you think I cannot call on my Father and he will at once put at my disposal more than 12 legions of angels. Whoa, you know, so Jesus was, you know, not a martyr himself. He chose to give his life away. No one could have taken it from him. He was ready for the cross. The perfect lamp of God was ready to be the final sacrifice. He was ready to go and fulfill the Father's will. Can I ask you, are you ready to go? If not, don't worry, continue to fight the good fight. I believe that every Christian, as far as we are seeking the will of the Lord with our hearts, is immortal until they have fulfilled God's purpose. I believe that. Our God is sovereign. There is a purpose for your life and you are not going anywhere before you accomplish it in Jesus' name. On the other hand, if you are satisfied with the days of your life and believe you have already fulfilled God's purpose and death shows up at your doorstep, be in peace like Jesus at the cross and say, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. There is no better place to be than in the arms of the Father. And remember, you are safely hidden in Christ, wonderfully protected by His blood and completely covered by His wings.